sorry for the interruption. My puppy heard something. But what I was saying is, the religion leader whose daughter has died, the people laugh at Jesus. Didn't think he could raise her from the dead or bring her back to life. And as I say, this is the same way the people in church are today, including the pastors. They laugh. They don't believe in healing people. They don't believe in healing. They don't believe in speaking in tongues. They don't believe in the Holy Spirit. They don't believe in God's word. And that's what's so sad. That's why the churches are in the condition that they're in today. Because they're not preaching the truth. They're not preaching the truth. They are not preaching God's word. There should be people in church that are sick, that should be walking out healed, and shouldn't have no problems at all, like they did in the biblical days. When Jesus there, he even told his disciples to go out and heal the sick, raise the dead, and cast out demons. But we got these pastors today who have to be politically correct. This is why we got the problems with the transgenders and the gays and everybody else. God says man should not lay with a man as a man lays with a woman. Where's all the pastors at that's supposed to be standing up for God's word? This is what this is all about. This woman has went to doctors and did not get healed. They took her money and left her for broke. The religion leaders didn't do anything for her. They did not pray for her. They didn't do anything. The only thing they can say is, you are restricted to your house. You do not touch anybody or anything because you are unclean. Wow. This is what God has given me to open my eyes to what is here compared to today. And it's no different. Our, the religion leaders back then are no different than what they are today. Hypocrites. They're all about themselves. But what's even more sad is. Everybody in the crowd knew who this lady was. And they did nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. To help her. To give. Nothing. I looked at many. A lot of sermons on this. She suffered. She suffered under the care. Of the medical doctors. And she was left to suffer even more. Isn't that what happened to the people in the churches? They're suffering. People in the hospital are suffering. And you're probably asking, well, brother, what's the answer? Like I've been saying, Jesus is the answer. Jesus is the answer. You take your sickness... The worse it gets, the farther and the harder you are going to fight to get to Jesus and say, Jesus, here I am. You said if I ask, I should receive. And your own word says, you will heal me by my faith. Here's a foreigner. They beg Jesus to help them. One of them came back to praise God and thank God by falling on his knees and saying, thank you, thank you. And Jesus replied, wasn't there nine others? But only one came. And that's how I see the people in the church today. Very, very few. I hope you enjoyed this class. I hope you got something out of it. The number 12, like I said, is according to the Bible def definition, is perfection represents perfection or authority. Jesus was 12 when he first started preaching. 
the young lady that belonged to the religion leader was 12 years old. The lady who suffered with the issue of blood suffered for 12 years. There's a reason why all this had 12 years. Now, the 12 tribes of Israel are named after Jacob's 12 sons. And the only thing I can see is sometimes, as I explain to a lot of people, Jesus is a working on the clay. I'm the clay. My body is a clay. He's working to get all the rough edges out to make me nice and smooth and shiny for him. And that's how I see this. There was something yearning in this lady to say, I need to touch him. I need to touch him. To get healed. So the question of the day is, how hard are you willing to fight for your healing to get close to Jesus? You're going to call on Jesus? I always explain to my wife, I always did it with God too. I said, God, I'm knocking on your door and I'm not leaving until you answer me. And let me tell you something. Every time I did that, I got an answer from God. Because he knew I was hard-headed, but stubborn, and I wouldn't leave. And he knew that. And that's what I'm saying to you. Cry out to Jesus. There's nothing wrong with it. Don't worry about this world and what they think of you. I didn't tell my wife this. Yesterday I was talking to her on the phone about something. Started praying. And the Holy Spirit hit me um, in a public restaurant. I didn't care who heard me and who didn't. I didn't care what they thought of me. Because I was doing God's work. God, when the Holy Spirit touches me, I started speaking in tongues. I started doing it right there in the restaurant. And guess what? The Holy Spirit was there strong, very strong. Because why? Why? Because I was glorifying God right there and calling on his armies to go to where my wife was to protect her. Hallelujah. Now, God's word says, if you have the faith the size of a mustard seed, the Lord said, you can say to this mulberry tree, be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it will obey you. What, is he, what he's talking about is your disease, sickness, sins. But I'm going to go back to what I say before I end this video. People will say God has given up on me. Society has given up on you. Family is giving up on you. It's a lie straight from the pits of hell. Don't believe none of this. Whether it's your doctors, family, friends, doesn't matter. Trust in God because if God had given up on you, you would be dead. You would be dead right now. So I'm going to pray right now. And thank you again for watching this video. And I hope you really learned something from it. And I'll ask God to open your eyes. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this video. The people are going to watch it and open their eyes to what what was said about this woman with the issue of blood. How she she was so determined to touch your garment to get healed. Lord, show these people how to touch your garment so they can get healed. Show them. Show them your ways, Lord. When everybody else was blind and, and helping these people, the doctors, the religion leaders. And Lord, I ask you to bless everybody that watches this video. And I ask and thank you for the 
time you've given me to spend with you and to spread your word. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you all.